all aboard the Hogwarts Express. Welcome to Always Dolls. This is Sarah and I'm so glad you're here today. Give your dolls that magical Harry Potter experience with this fun DIY version of American Girl's Hogwarts Express train. There are so many details to craft and enjoy. See how to make the train carriage with classic old world charm and plush cabin seats. There is ample space for storage, cute curtains, and windows with reversible scenes of Hogwarts Castle. Make the folding dining table from basic materials and use our nifty trick to add working cabin lights. During those longer trips, you can lower the table and convert the seats into a cozy bed where your dolls can rest and dream of their next magical adventure. This playset has so much to explore and can be made for a fraction of the AG price tag. If you enjoy this video, we'd love it if you hit the like button and subscribe to support our channel. This is one of our bigger crafts, so let's get making! To build the body of the train, you can start with a large cardboard box or use thick 10mm foam board sheets. However, our doll storage space is extremely limited, so we are going to recycle our DIY Mary Ellen's travel trailer. First, we must remove all the internal fittings and accessories to give us a blank canvas for the train. Now we are ready for the transformation. The existing base is the perfect length and depth, but we need to reduce the length of the back wall so it is 55 centimeters long. Measure in eight centimeters from each side edge to draw, then cut out the carriage windows. We then patched the back wall using a portion of the window cutout. We also patched the right and left side walls using foam board from the original trailer. The left side wall has a circular window that is 12 centimeters in diameter. We also reduced the height of the back wall and now we are ready to decorate. From this creative brand textured paper stack, we chose the dark wood to cover the lower half of the walls. Also cover strips of paperboard in the same wood grain paper to create the panelling detail. For the upper walls, we searched images of cream damask wallpaper and made a printable that you can find in the description box. Frame your circular window with gold specialty cardstock. We also offer a printable for this blue Persian rug. We patched four printouts together to cover the floor area. To make the seats, begin with the arm template. Trace, cut and glue two pieces from 10mm foam board. You need two of these pieces per seat. Trace and cut another arm from thinner 5mm foam board, then cut out the panelling detail. Cover all the pieces with your wood grain paper. Then glue your decorative panel to one arm piece, making it extra thick. The right seat is very simple. Just a rectangle of foam board with three supports glued underneath. The left seat has the same dimensions, but instead of supports, cut the pieces seen on screen and glue them into a tray. Next, cut and assemble a slightly smaller tray. Adhere a strip of foam board for the back bar. To keep the smaller tray inside, add stopper pieces at the edges of the seat's side walls. Make this T-shaped piece and insert it through the smaller tray for a handle. Cover everything with your wood grain paper and you now have all the elements for a pull-out seat. But before adhering, we want to cut corner curves off the base and paint the outside area of the train black. Now glue in the left side wall and one arm piece. Put adhesive around the base of your seat only, then position flush against the cabin wall. Following this, affix the decorative arm piece. Great! The dolls now have a seat that converts to a bed. Switching to the exterior. To clean up our walls, we opted to cover them with white poster board. This step is also helpful if you are using cardboard boxes for the project. On the poster board, we place self-adhesive rhinestones around the perimeter to mimic the bolts seen in AG's version. The rhinestones are spaced two centimeters apart. Repeat this step for all the walls. 
then paint the exterior of the train bright red. Here we used liquid glue to attach the poster board to our foam board walls. Unfortunately, when the glue dried, we saw air bubbles and creases everywhere. Perhaps this is because the liquid glue did not stick properly to the uneven surface of the foam board. Perhaps a spray adhesive would have been a better choice with a stronger bond. Ah oh well, moving on, we made a printable for the Hogwarts Railway decals. Their placements helped disguise the wrinkles in the poster board. Add another gold frame to the outside circular window and a smaller crest image below. Then apply alphabet stickers to spell American Girl on the opposite wall along with another Hogwarts crest. Make your window frames from recycled paperboard. Cut two full shapes and three U pieces per window. Stack and glue them to give your window dimension. Cut smaller window panes from your solid piece then adhere it to the stack. Create more texture and depth by layering thin strips of paperboard around the window's border and between the smaller panes. Paint all your frames gold. To add faux glass, adhere plastic packaging to the back side of your internal frames with double-sided tape. Just peel and press for a strong connection. Glue the stacked dimensional frames to the outside of the train. Remember the cutouts from before? Cover them with a printable to make window scenes for Hogwarts Castle or any vista your dolls might enjoy. We put together printables that are similar to AG's day and night scenes. Check out the description box below. The inserts fit perfectly inside the frames and are a wonderful interactive element. Finish off by adhering your internal frames with more double-sided tape. For the storage rack, we connected two regular paper straws with a piece of chopstick to make it long enough to fit across the back wall. Mark and pierce holes evenly spaced along the straw. Insert and glue a piece of barbecue skewer into each hole, then cover the skewer with a slightly shorter piece of straw. We needed 34 slats for our rack then capped off the ends with a wooden bead. Above the window, mark holes in the back wall that correspond with the slats. Then insert the exposed tip of your skewers into the wall. Our brackets are just tablecloth clips painted gold. Hot glue a clip under the rack at each end and one in the center. Your dolls now have a sturdy storage area. To make plush cabin seats, we bought jumbo sponges. This three pack is the perfect thickness and a navy plaid shirt. We are making no sew cushions using hot glue. Cut a square of fabric and lay the sponge stack in the middle. Run lines of hot glue along the sides, then wrap the fabric over top. Apply more glue to seal the fabric closed on itself. For the sides, we wrap the fabric like a present using lots of hot glue to lock in the folds. Make wider cushions for the seat base and narrower ones for the seat back. Classic, stylish and comfortable. Next, we covered a scrap of balsa rod with our wood grain paper and affixed it into the right corner. For the cabin lights, we bought two LED book lamps off eBay. Cut away the arm, then adhere the lamp heads to a rectangle of 5mm foam board. Our strip is covered in more wood grain paper and decorated with images from AG's website and silver specialty cardstock. The lamps are tiny but powerful. Cut a square of thick foam board or lay a cardboard for a tabletop. Glue strips of paperboard 1.5cm wide around three sides. To attach the table to the back wall, adhere a 2cm strip of paperboard to the back edge that already has an established crease. Paint the table red. Fold the paperboard tab backward and glue just that area to the wall. Now source two beads that have an opening big enough to slot in a cocktail straw, skewer or for us a lollipop stick. Next, slide a segment of straw over the stick. Trim the end then feed it into your second bead. Hot glue a tablecloth clip to the straw only. 
Then extend the length of the arm with pieces of popsicle stick, ensuring they are adhered to just the clip. Put drops of hot glue on the beads, then attach the brackets under the table as seen on screen. The bracket arms are sturdy and can swing inward allowing your tabletop to lower and out again when your dolls want to use it. To match AG's version, we made simple rod pocket curtains from blue polycotton fabric. Our curtain rail is made from two chopsticks. Thread on a set of curtains, then hot glue the chopstick into the nook of the bracket. Repeat on the other side, then glue the two sticks together. We have gold mini hooks in our stash. Affix a hook on each side of the window to hold back your curtains. The train carriage is looking great. Next up, the roof. Trace an arch shape onto thick 10mm foam board. Cut out and make three in total. Patch cream coloured poster board together to make a long rectangle. Then fold a 1cm tab along both long sides. Mark the central skylight area, then cut this out. Repeat these steps with black poster board, then glue the two sheets together. Adhere your arched pieces to the cream underside, one at each end and one above the left cabin wall. Next, cut frames for the skylight and stick clear packaging to the back of each panel. Glue them around the opening. To mimic rivets, place double rows of sticker gems over the roof. This process does take a bit of time, but the results are totally worth it. Measure and cut a frame piece for your roof. Paint it gold. Glue the roof to the frame using the side tabs we folded earlier. Cut two smaller arch shapes and glue them atop the short panels. Wrap your residual black poster board over top to close up the skylight section. On the observation deck, the rail is made from the curved tips of black plastic coat hangers, hot glued into pre-cut slots in the base. Here, we took foam tubing to make the handrail. It is flexible and moulds to fit the shape of the fence. Hot glue the tubing to the top, sides and train base. However, this type of foam does not hold paint well. For the train wheels, we have these candy containers bought as party favours back in 2017. We get two detailed wheels per container. To add more stability, trace and cut this shape from thick foam board. Affix the wheels on top, then the axle piece. For more detail, take craft wire and wrap a segment around a pencil to make a faux spring. Hot glue the spring into the centre slot of the axle. Then paint everything black. Adhere the wheels to the underside of the base piece, positioning a set below each cabin seat. Repeat on the other side. We also made a triangular piece and glued it below the deck to balance the front of the train. Excellent! Your DIY Hogwarts Express is ready for play. Thanks so much to everyone who requested this craft and remember to subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new DIY. See you soon for more miniature crafting fun!